When you think of the nation of Haiti, it's easy to think of poverty, destruction, devastation, despair. But there's one thing that rarely comes to mind, because it's so hard to envision. Hope. This is St. Vincent Center for Children with Disabilities, located in the greater Port-au-Prince area of Haiti's capital. Approximately 200 students attend the school. Of them, nearly 100 are deaf, 60 are blind, and 40 are physically challenged, many confined to a wheelchair. For almost all of them, this is their only option for an elementary and secondary education, and perhaps even beyond that. Despite this, the students are here every day to learn, and the faculty and staff are here to teach. But the needs of these children are still many. These volunteer medical professionals from the West Tennessee Haiti Partnership come twice a year to provide examinations and medicine to the children. I've been coming here for 10 years now, and so some of these little children that I've seen and gotten to know when they were two, three, four years old are now 14, 15 years old, and they've grown so much and overcome so much. Coming to Haiti reminds you that people that live in the United States do not understand how good they have it. These children live hand to mouth and they're in the most abject poverty, but they still hug one another, they're smiling, and they'll go out of your way to help them, to help you. And while they help maintain their physical health, other volunteers help develop their growing minds. It's really fabulous. They remember me from year to year. Sometimes I'm not sure what I sang the year before. I get here and they remind me because they remember all the songs. They remember an amazing amount. And the ones that you think are the maybe the most afflicted are the ones who remember the most. And uh, it's a really beautiful thing to see the response and to hear them sing and to hear them improve and to watch them grow and to see their personalities. St. Vincent's provides so much for these children, but there is always something more that needs to be done. Sometimes I have difficult to, to find some material to repair the Braille machine. How many Braille machines do you have that need to be repaired now? About 20. 20. 20 or 25. The children of Haiti lack so much, but one thing they have in abundance is joy and spirit. So when you think of Haiti and the work that needs to be done there, please do not dwell on the poverty or despair. Think about the beautiful future these shining young souls will build one day. Think of hope.